So this may be the best angle for us to see what's really happening, especially uh, in the setup phase from the unit turn. Okay, we should be able to shoot a basketball in this space. The elbows are up and away from our body and the butt cap is enough space as well from the belly button, it's not tucked in. We're not too cool for school, okay? We keep the non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket and notice we could still basically draw a triangle with the butt cap and the two shoulders, okay? That's how we know we have the unit, okay? Or whatever, the Illuminati, okay? Um, now, let's take it back even more and only now, once the upper body has turned past the hips and the ball is bounced, we let go of the racket, okay? It's not that he's inverting the racket, it's that he's having a delay, okay? The racket head stays in front of the hand so that when he goes to explode, it can get an extra range of motion. That whip, that's gonna be the last part of the kinetic chain. The swing starts from the ground up, pat the dog, closing the strings so we get top spin, okay, right? We're not swinging open with the frying pan, okay? Swing starts from the ground up. We uncoil by pulling in the non-hitting hand, right? We don't just forget it. Pretend we're surfing. We want to stay on the water. We don't want to fall in the ocean, okay? Now, leading through, the racket is the last part of the kinetic chain, and we've uncoiled, and at contact point, we've straightened out our hips, our toes, and our chest. Oops. to our target, okay? From here, the windshield wiper, okay? Let's take that back even slower. Boom. The wrist is back at contact, and then we relax the wrist. And if you notice, boom. There's no longer a curl in the wrist. That's very important as well. You don't wanna scrape the ball, okay? After you hit the ball, you need to relax the wrist, okay? It changes the component of how much racket head speed you get, um, you know, the fluidity of your stroke. You really wanna make sure you cover the top of the ball by relaxing your wrist. And from here, boom, just over the shoulder. And that's a textbook forehand, okay? That is the center forehand. And you know, the checkpoints in this video, let's just go over them one more time. Got a no backswing, backswing, okay? We've got the body turning as a unit using the non-hitting hand or having it very close by until the ball bounces, delaying the racket drop and having the racket head in front of the hand and above it until you're ready to pat the dog and sit in the chair, okay? We get low and from here, there's no tension in the arm. We maintain this space and we swing inside to outside in the follow through and have the racket come through as the last part of the kinetic chain once we uncoil to our target with the imaginary laser coming out of the hinges in our body. And then we cover the ball with the windshield wiper. It's very simple. And if you do these things uh, just like him, uh, you don't have to copy everything, but you can see improvements in your own game even just by implementing one of the things that he does. And uh, yeah, this is the Common Threads series of the Modern Forehand for Sinner.